Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos, and this, uh, this piano was a labor of love, fully rebuilt 1895 Weber piano. And uh, to begin with, it was very, very well built, well engineered, but uh, like anything else that's well over 100 years old, it, uh, it needed to be rebuilt. So absolutely beautiful piano, exterior and, and the inside. Um, I, well, the, the exterior, I fell in love with it and I, and I decided that, uh, that this piano could not go unrebuilt. It couldn't go unloved. So I uh, basically poured everything into this piano. Show you the inside. Um, everything that, uh, that I did to this piano, so brand new uh, tuning pins here, new strings, new dampers, these are the dampers there that I'm wiggling there, those are the dampers, new hammers, new bridle straps, and then in the in the keys New bushings. Those. Are, that's what keeps the keeps the uh, keys in proper alignment. New sharps. New white keys, and then all of the uh, the metal hardware was replated, so you can get a shot of the pedals. Those are the original pedals and the original um, that, that plate that goes around the decorative plate is original as well. It was just just redone in, in brass. Um, well, I'll show you the in here as well. I redid all of this, all the pedal workings called the trap work as well. You can see that everything is clean, functioning perfectly. So it's as if this uh, 20 year old piano is brand new. And then of course all new felt and leather and all, lots of stuff in the action under the keys and all over the place, the key bed, all of that is, is replaced and brand new. So this piano for all intents and purposes is a, is a brand new piano. I'll play it for you in a minute and it sounds, it sounds great. It's 54 inches tall which Modern manufacturing, most pianos are 48, sometimes 50 inches. Every once in a while, like the Yamaha U3, you'll come across one that's 52 inches. Very rarely do uh, modern piano makers make one this big. Also, this cabinetry is just gorgeous. It's just unbelievable. And, and in person, I, I suspect it's probably different than, than what you're getting right now on the video. It's, it's exquisite. And uh, that's another thing that modern piano makers don't do. For the vast majority of pianos that they make, they're, they're just black boxes like, like these pianos here, which has its own aesthetic appeal, very different from this. But uh, um, yeah, this, this is just awesome. And everybody that comes in the store since I've, since I've rebuilt this piano just, just gasps when they see this piano. And uh, as an instrument, uh, it's, it sounds awesome. I'll play it for you in a second. And, and it, feels, it feels fantastic as well. I've done a full regulation on it. So every note not only plays correctly, but, but everything plays consistently. And, and yeah, and, and there's no reason for me to think that this piano wouldn't last for many, many, many decades hence after, after everything that, uh, that I've done to it. Um, so, briefly, what uh, the reason that I fell in love with these with these pianos is uh, I just felt like there was a lot of history there. I feel like there's real craftsmanship to these pianos that were built between 1890 and 1930. Lots and lots of pianos, but uh, but you know they were old and and crumbling and falling apart by the time I came along. I've I've been. Uh, I started working on pianos in 1995, so a hundred years actually exactly when uh, when this piano was manufactured. 
and I've done lots of lots of these old pianos um, since then, and I found that a lot of people also feel the same way about these old these old pianos with history and the and the beautiful craftsmanship. So, and it also comes with this this bench, this matching bench with the music compartment here, and, uh, and those uh, those legs there. All right, let's get a let's have a listen to this piano. So what I was alluding to a minute ago about the size, about the the height of this piano is the advantage of that, the benefit is the what you hear there in the bass. It's a really big, full, rich sound. That's not a sound that you have on smaller pianos. So this piano, this piano is a is a labor of love, and it's a it's a piano that uh, that I feel like is a real treasure, and, and absolutely it's a it's a one of a kind, a fully rebuilt Weber from 1895, and I'm I'm very confident in in the craftsmanship. Everything is is very very well done. Very confident in the longevity. There's there's not a there's not a part about this piano that uh, that I that I feel in any way um, is holding holding it back it's just a, just an awesome instrument <laughs>